Right. Probably last attempt. Oh, there's somebody there. All done. Right, I'm going to try and turn this round. Of course, if I get this set up, then I'll probably lose the freaking screen, won't I? Um, right, let me know, can you hear me? I'm going to have to move that, shut that tab down, because it's boring me now. It's placemats, it's Pimpernel. Sold for 20 quid. I'm selling lots of them now because it's quarter four, so it's placemat time. Let's get rid of that. I pay about £3 for a set. Right, three people in the chat. Can you hear me? Okay. Oh, hi, Indy. Can you hear me? Sound okay so far? Right, quick, let's go. Um, right, this, Laura Ashley, I think I got this from the car boot, the last visit I went on. So I would have paid maybe a couple of pounds, sold for 25, would have sold for more. Um, but just to show as well, oh, Indy. It's ruffling me up Pimpernel here. I'll tell you what, you can't move Pimpernel sales at the moment. There might even be another one coming up on here. Um, yeah, 25 quid. So even with, um, and I put it here in the condition. Oh, I'll read this out. Uh, Laura Ashley knit warm winter cape, poncho shawl, cowl neck, hand holes, beige UK 12. And it had two small holes in the back of the net roll. See last picks. And I've got the measurements in there for stupid people. Um, yeah, so even despite the holes, which I pointed out with pictures, still sold for 25 quid pretty quickly. So I'm guessing that's not to do with Laura Ashley, it's to do with the fact that it was a cape thing and they're in. So it does pay to know what people are buying at the moment. Um, this one, this was a nice, really quick sale. I think it was like overnight. And I think I paid mm, round of five for it from a local charity shop. Uh, Jewel zip up thick winter hoodie, red, white, striped weekend UK 18 plus size. So for 30 quid plus shipping, happy days. Um, can find any decent jumpers, Karen. Oh, bugger. I'll tell you what, I used to think, right, I'm just going to pick up cashmere. But as you'll see from this, I'm picking up all sorts of shit right now. Um, yeah, good price on that and quick sale. Oh, yeah. Pick this up for a fiver from one of the last car boots. Indeed, I'm experimenting with my leading keywords, trying out putting the brand later in the title. I don't know. I always end with um, the size, which that's probably, I don't know if that's advisable or not, but that's what I generally end with. And I don't know, sales are consistent at the moment. Who knows? One of the most annoying things is that the utter like non-transparent I can't think of the word but non-transparency of eBay honestly um yeah anyway love a carpet bag it was a Marks and Sparks um St Michael vintage tapestry carpet large Gladstone hold all weekend travel bag 70s 80s um this was fabulous I think they said that hadn't been used on the little ticket thing um paid a fiver went really I think within the week for 40 quid plus shipping Love, love, love those, particularly like the St. Michael ones. I did see a Debenhams little thing the other day that I didn't. Oh, this was this was a bit of a mistake buy, really. Um, Freela navy blue tennis polo dress, polo dress striped retro vintage 90s mod UK 12 to 14, 38 inch chest. I bought, yeah, actually I'm not a 38 inch chest. I bought this for me, like I got it off of eBay for like eight pounds delivered. And I thought, because I like, I think I was looking for feeler zip-ups or something. I like feeler. And I thought, oh, I'll, um, yeah. And I don't know why I ordered that, because I'd never wear this. I'd never wear this. Um, so then I got it and thought, why have I ordered that? I think I ordered it because I got it because I got it cheap. <sighs> anyway, so I thought, well, I'll just sell it on then. But I made a profit. So I got it for £8, delivered, sold it for 30 plus shipping. So it all works out in the end, doesn't it? Um, right, what have we got? Oh, here's another kind of standard pickup for me. Not standard in the price, but this is the shit I like to pick up. Sorry, I can't stop swearing. Um, John Lewis, 100% cashmere, cardigan, ruffle, frill, detail, secretary, weekend 12 to 14. Um, and then I always put the measurements um, in the condition for the stupid people. Uh, sold for £35 for shipping. That's kind of my general, if it's 100% cashmere, stick on for 35 unless it's something um, particularly special. And then I put it on for a bit more. Um, yeah, happy days. See, this is my season, really. The winter is not in terms of um, me loving it, loving it, loving it, but in terms of the stuff that I sell, placemats, cashmere, you know, it's just line up and, uh, oh, Harry Potter book sets, just line up, it's it's time.
take a ticket, get in the queue. It's time for my stuff. Yeah, you'll have seen this on uh, blah, 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 Instagram. Shelster H over there, if you're not already following me. Um, rare vintage Pyrex sprayware dishes. Bright yellow fruit set, five small 1950s, 60s kitsch. Um, oh, and zero sales, Indy. Jesus H. eBay is a fickle, funny little... I can swear on this, I know I'm not monetized a funny little fuck, isn't it? Um, right. Uh, yeah, so put these, I I popped a photo on of these. I, I knew they were Pyrex, so like you can see the Pyrex thing underneath. But um, I didn't know. I popped these on Insta and my reselling journey and somebody else, was it you, Pound Girl, got in touch straight away and said, oh, is that um, spray wear, is that, and, 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 Sarah did say put spray wear on the keywords, which was brilliant um, because I wouldn't have known that it was spray wear. And I said, I don't know. It's kind of clear glass on the top and it looks kind of yellow underneath. <laughs> Apparently that's spray wear. Um, anyway, yeah, bought for it's either $1.99 or $2.99. Just thought they were lush. I thought someone, I'm starting to hear about the Pyrex collectors. Um, oh, well, that's right. Phoenix or Fire King, um, Pound Girl. But uh Sarah gave me the old spray wear keyword and went for 30 plus shipping really quickly. I haven't even had feedback on this. Mind you, I guess I'm probably a bit crap at leaving feedback, but they were lush and well packaged. So, yeah. Um, what do we got? Oh, yeah. Vintage Fair Isle Nordic Scandi hand knitted chunky large weekend jumper size large. Um, oh, I think I paid four or five pounds for it. No, uh, yeah, definitely a fiver. And I picked it up thinking, ooh, it's hand knit. Will this sell? Does hand knit sell? Because I'm quite, I do verge, ver, veer towards brands. I just, for me, it, it, I know you can get things by good keywords as well, but a brand will pull somebody in pretty quick, I think, if you get a good brand. So I wasn't sure about this because it was a hand knit. Um, so, uh, Oh, yeah, Pound Girl, yeah, mine automatically does once... Oh, no, not once they pay. Mine's once they leave me feedback, actually. I've got automatically set for. Um, yeah, anyway, this sold really quickly for £30 plus shipping, so I was happy with that. And it's not, you know, it's not cashmere. It's not a particular particular brand. Indy, you do well with hand knit. Yeah, well, I'm, yeah, a bit of a convert on that, so I was happy with that. Oh, I don't want to jinx this, but things are closing nicely here. Oh, probably everybody remembers this gorgeous table um found it at the car boot the local car boot vintage 1950s 60s two-tier gold drink side table kitsch floral mid-century homeware i just saw it and thought oh manan um i'm sure manan had stuff like this and it was even um can someone return something just because they return i can't read that it's just disappeared but i expect hi andrea somebody can probably answer that's in the chat um yeah, and so I put flowers are sun faded and some marks on the top, see pics, comes apart for transporting, posting, and then I've got the height. But I was going I was going past it and a woman was like, I said, is this, is this a pound? And she said, oh yeah. Um, and then another guy jumped in and said, oh, to be honest, it does need some upcycling. You probably want to cover up those roses. And I was like, I don't want to cover up the, pro the roses. And I said, oh, is it, um, is it quite old? Like, I was trying to dig for its age, basically, and she went, oh, I'll, I'll have to admit, um, it was, um, it was my, how would she say, my dad's or my granddad's or something, and I was like, you don't, you don't have to admit, like, that's exactly what I want to hear for a quid, although, obviously, this doesn't fall into my new, um, don't pick up blooming big items, this, it was quite heavy and large, obviously, even even with the um, the little, those things, the legs unscrewed and then, but even so, it was big, it was big. So, I mean, would I, I don't know. I've got to stop picking up stuff like this because then I have to post it. But it did sell for 40 plus shipping, so it was a good sell, but, whoa. I mean, it's, it's fabulous, look at that. And see, even the marks. It's fabulous, but yeah, there you go. Um, moving on, what is it? Oh yeah, got this from the car bit as well. Um, toast, lager and look, Cecily dress, wool, cotton, grey, melange. Oh God, I must have got that from somewhere because I don't even know what, what, am I even saying that right? Melange, is that right? 
I don't even know what that means. Grey melange, if I'm saying it right. Pockets, UK 16, new. Um, yeah, the RRP on the label was £139. And um, the lady that I was buying it from, it owed me about a tenner because I bought that and a load of jumpers. She was saying, oh, I'm after 15 for this. And then I bought a load of jumpers and I thought, evening it out a little bit, it's probably about a tenner. Um, yeah, sold for 60. I think it sold for 60. Or did I take an offer? If I took an offer, it was it was 50, 55. It was high. And it went to the US. Um, keyword city. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it went really quickly. And she was, and she said to me, "This is the bargain of the car boot." This, and I was like, "Oh, really?" Like as if I totally don't know what toast is. Um, the thing is, as well, it was nowhere near my size. So I don't know what she was thinking about me. I really don't. Um, oh, thanks, Karen. Yeah, so it went really quickly to the US. Do you know some of my highest price sales seem to go to the US? Um, but yeah, whatever that pocket thing is, whack the wig. <laughs> I must have freaking copied that off of somewhere because I don't even know what it means. I can't believe I did that. Um, <laughs> the tag word. What well, words? I don't even... Does anybody know what that means? Um, right. Yes. Zara. Something I wouldn't usually pick up. And usually brands I wouldn't pick up, I pick them up because they've, say, got cashmere or angora or something in. But this didn't. Um, God, look at the dress. I think I might have listed this on one of Kez's list-offs in the evening. And I said, I can't do evenings anymore because look at the shoddy lighting on that. Because I think I rely on um, daylight. And look how dark that is. I mean, it's still sold. Um, Zara oversized monochrome thick cardigan jacket lagging at boho size M. You go 12 to 14. And it went for, yeah, I think it went for this price. 30 quid plus shipping. It's just a Zara. Um, and, uh, but I saw it and thought, oh, it was quite, you know, it was thick and chunky. You felt like you're getting something for your money there. Do I mean Blumange? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't like Blumange. Um, yeah, I, but the only time I can cope with a slight slither of Blumange is if it's in like a really decent trifle with lots of other good shit around it, like cream and stuff. Um, yeah, anyway, 30 quid for a Zara thing, jacket. Happy with that. Um, right, these I pick up, oh, where's it gone? Um, the backgammon sets. Now this, and I sell these, as long as I've got the instructions, they'll go for like 15 odd, maybe 20. But this, Anne Carlton travel backgammon set, briefcase, navy blue, burgundy, beige, felt, board. Um, it was, I think this was like new. Oh yeah, the little dice was still in its little packet. But this brand, Anne Carlton, I didn't know, had, bizarrely it had, I don't know if I showed it, I don't think so had a um, letter with it that somebody had been given it as part of a, I don't know, they'd been to some event and would won it or something. Um, anyway, it sold for 25 plus shipping. So yeah, I'd still carry on picking these up. And they're not too difficult to post. They're not gonna break. So yeah, I'm gonna carry on with those. Not too bad. Um, where are we? Oh, this is good. Things are closing down. I'm enjoying this. Oh, I love these little um, powder puff pop things. Art Deco, and I do complain um, quite a lot that Art Deco stuff doesn't seem to go for the money I feel it should when A, it's gorgeous, B, it's, you know, from the Art Deco period and they should go for more. So I was really happy with this price. Um, so it's Art Deco pink gu guillage, I think you say. I don't know, actually, I'm guessing. Glass, powder puff, bowl, jar, trinket, storage, ornament. Um, and uh, that the guillage thing, if I'm saying that correctly, I don't know if you can see that. It, it looks kind of like a feathery type um, pattern. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've got a green one of these on as well. Um, I got this for 50p and it sold for 20 from the car boot. Um, I kind of thought, oh, I'm going to keep it because I just love it. I picked it up thinking even that I probably wouldn't be able to sell it. Oh, what's it? Guillaume. It is, oh, not Gui, Gui. Guillaume, thank you, Indy. Um, yeah, it's lush. So, yeah, and 20 quid. So maybe I will still keep picking those up. I'm the queen of keywords. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, yeah. But, you know, some things are just nice to handle, aren't they? And... Yeah, I can't keep everything, but I'd probably still pick those up because they're lush. Um, right. 
Oh yes, uh, certainly um, mentioned this on Insta. It's an Olympus, it's not the Mew 2, it's just a, what is it, just a Mew? What have I put, Olympus Mew, Mew Zoom 35 to 70, and then I put 35 millimeter point, I copied this from somewhere again, oh, um, point and shoot camera black instructions. Got this from the, oh yes, Pound Girl, yeah, I thought it would probably usually be part of a set, but um, I don't think even the, I mean, you like the brush sets with the mirror and everything, they don't even seem to sell that well. Um, maybe I just got lucky because it's a little pot. Actually, yeah, Pound Girl, you'd know your stuff. 20 quid's pretty good for that, isn't it? I was kind of thinking you might get a tenner. Um, anyway, yeah, back to this. So this was in the special cabinet in um, one of my charity shops, about a 20 minute drive away. Um, and I've start, I like a little look in the special cabinet. You never know what you're gonna find in there. Some actual dross that shouldn't be in there. But what they, also it's quite funny just to see what they deem as special. But this was a five and I thought, oh, well, yeah, I'm gonna be all right with that. Hard to find a full set. Candlesticks and the pots sell better. Uh, yeah, 20, I was thinking, yeah, really pleased with that price. Um, yeah, so this camera, I th it sold within a number of days. Of course, everything sells within a number of days. A few days, maybe. Um, yeah, 30 quid, so easy wheezy. Oh yeah, Chris, you're opening your shop tomorrow. Really, really best of luck with that. Um, oh, <laughs> and talking of you, Chris. So I did sell a bundle of uh, a set of Lemony Snickets. Lemony Snickets full book set, a series of unfortunate events, 13 hardbacks, BGC, um, sold for £40 plus shipping. I was really lucky. I got these for 20p each, all bar number nine from a car boot. And number nine um, was supplied to me by Chris. <laughs> and um, yeah, and the lady actually got in touch with me. I was just going out and she was like, oh, uh, could I come over and pick it up? So I was like, well, even better, because that's a heavy box I don't have to get together. So just left that with my husband, went out, and she came and picked it up, and all good. So, yeah, good sale. But I think, uh, I don't know, it wasn't that quick a sale, actually. And I have got a few more now from Chris that um, I could make another setup. I think only if I get them cheap enough. La, la, la. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, so as well as Filofax um, personal organisers, I also always pick up Paper Chase. Um, and in fact, so Paper Chase personal organiser Filofax, I shouldn't have put Filofax in here and I have started removing it um, because obviously it's not actual official Filofax, it's Paper Chase. It's kind of a bit like saying I'm going to Google something when you're going to search something, even if you're not using Google. But I've, yeah, I probably could have got into a bit of strife with that. So not using that anymore. Grey herringbone material, including dividers. So if they've got their innards, I, I love it when they've got their innards. I don't know, feel like, feel like um, you're getting, Paul, you don't bother much with the cones brush. Yeah, I think they are hard to sell. Um, but yeah, so usually if I can get one of these paper chase um, personal organizers with the, you know, they're a bit fat with all their innards. Uh, that's what I like. Um, and I usually sell them for 25 plus shipping. So given that I've been bumping stuff up slightly so I can put best offer on, because I feel like it's pushing me up the listings, I must have bumped up to 30 best offer. And then do you know how sometimes um, then it just sells for the price, you bumped that price and well, happy days. So, and now I'm also, God, you know, that's the other thing about this being my time. It's not just the jumpers and the pimpernels, it's the filofaxes. Everything I love to pick up and sell is selling now. So happy with that. Um, right, another thing that I've got a bit of a weakness for is lampshades. So vintage retro 1970s rattan cane wicker weave light shade pendant boho hippie trend. Couple of keywords there. Um, it didn't sell for 35. I actually think I took an offer of about 25. I bought it for four pounds. I have sold them for about this price, but I'm I'm kind of taking offers left, right, and centre at the moment because I just want stuff turning over. And when we when we were on our like travels in the summer, our accidental travels, we stayed. Oh no, we popped into Shrew Shrewsbury on the way back from Wales. I think. Oh, I love that. Oh, so yeah, it's a bit of a wicker, Andrea, but look at the shape of the bottom. It's absolutely 
lush. Um, yeah, so I said I, I could have held out for a bit more, but um, yeah, I'm just I'm keeping things turning over at the moment, and I was trying to make a bit of space in the garage. Um, oh, oh yeah, you, you indeed. Well, you're the curtain queen, aren't you? My can't sell my curtains for love nor money. Well, apart from some little Disney ones that went to the US, but they weren't didn't go for much. Anyway, yes, that's my weakness. There's the lampshades because they're big and bulky. Uh, but yeah. Oh, here's another weakness, actually. <laughs> this is the other thing I can't stop picking up. Vin and look at that shocking photo <laughs> with half the lounge in it. Um, vintage 100% merino wool, thick, fluffy purple blanket throw cover. And I've got the dimensions. Um, says sold for 40. I think, actually, I took an offer for 35 on this. Picked up for a fiver. If my Auntie Margaret's watching this... Uh, you were with me actually, I could hardly carry any more um, and then I saw this and I had to go back to the car to drop it off. Um, oh, you bought a purple blanket. But it, the point is, it's these vintage ones. Oh, well, you're no pound girl anyway. Yeah, look at that. Um, sold, God, again, within the week, I think. Um, it's, uh, and I've got... Bizarrely, I've got a red one out there that hasn't sold yet. It, you can't, there's no accounting for eBay. I think sometimes if something is new listing, it pushes it up and then people grab that and I'm thinking, well, you know, I've got, you know, I've got another one in the garage you can have. Um, yeah, so I've even lost my train of track here. There you go, good sale. Yeah, been, oh yeah, I've been picking up these because when I picked this up, my aunt said, have you sold the other one that you picked up? I was like, no. And I thought, oh dear, I'm doing a pimpernel here where I keep picking them up thinking they're good to pick up, uh, but even though I hadn't actually sold any. But it's all paying off. It's all coming good. Yeah, another standard sell for me in terms of stuff I like to pick up is Harry Potter hardback book sets, all first editions. So Harry Potter complete UK first editions, original hardback hardcover book sets. Um, another one went to the US, 150 quid plus shipping. Um, I do usually pay between a pound and three pounds for a book. However, recently, because I'm aware Q4, I've sold a couple of these in the last month, Q4, people want them for gifts. Um, I have sourced a couple of um, books off of eBay, you know, a bit of a higher price. I'm like, well, if I'm going to get 150, um, then, you know, it's worth it still. And I just put, yeah, a photograph of all the fronts, sides, the first page is showing the first editions and what um uh what am i talking about yeah print they are and um, i think one was missing a, oh yeah all with dust covers except goblet of fire which also previously had a name written inside in pencil um you got a crate full of oh chris chris my dear get them on it's the time um yeah so you know often there's one that's in a bit of a tardy condition compared to the rest um, and I, um, this is the price. I don't put offers on this. I've only managed to sell one lot of the paperback lots, which went for a hundred. So I might just stick to the hardcovers in future. Um, yeah, cassettes, eighties cassettes. I quite like to pick up 15 times eighties pop cassette tapes plus carry case, the police banana, Rama Jones, Brown plus sold for 25 quid plus shipping. Um, God, I've got a blooming whistle, like I'm wearing flipping false teeth or something. Um, yeah, look at that. What have we got? Status quo. Simply Red, Simply Red's 90s actually, isn't it? Genesis. Yeah, anyway, there you go. Good money, get, it, get all of that for two, three pounds at the car boot, really. I like picking those up as well. They're not too difficult to post. Oh, flipping, really love picking this stuff up. I got a massive job lot um, from a, uh, what do you call it, house clearance guy at my local car boot. And it was on a day where I, where I thought, oh, I, I sell tapestry kits. Um, maybe I should try these um, tapestry wools. I had no idea. And that day I got two job lots of it. And this job lot, this plus a load of other colours, I got off the car boot. <laughs> I'm not wearing someone else's teeth, isn't he? Um, interesting there. Um, yeah, in vintage Appleton DMC Penelope Anchor Tapestry Cross Stitch Wool 300 grams greys blues. I was looking at other. Oh God, you can probably see that. You're going to see if anybody's messaging me on Facebook. Everyone's going to read your messages just to let you know. 
Um, ah, la, la. Yeah, so Appleton, DMC, Penelope, those are the brands that are in there. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there's a Penelope there. Look at that for an old um, design. It's lovely. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, so, yeah, I said to him, there were loads, and they were like, there were like curlers stuck to them and everything. I said, oh, how much for these? And I thought, because I might try it. And he said, well, depends. Do you want all of them? And I said, well, uh, maybe. How much are they? And there was this. Uh, and I, he said, oh, three quid for the lot. I was like, oh, okay. I thought, well, it's worth trying at three quid. And... I've, I think this might have been the last lot to go from that three pounds and the rest, oh, so that again, I'd, I'd put up to 22 with best offer on to get rid of the last one and the other ones are sold all at 20, so 82 pounds back on that three pound spend. So, Carla, you weren't subbed. Typical, Carla, you've missed my Pimpernel placemat sale. Well, one of them, because obviously I can't move for them, just to let you know. Um, yeah, so like selling these embroidery threads because they also don't break in the post. Right, what we got? Um, yeah, Genuine Filofax Graphic Zip. That's the uh, title of it, which will be on the inside cover. Yeah, Graphic Zip. A5 Organizer, Brown Dividers, Time Management Aid. Um, pick this, yeah, another great sale. Pick this up for one ninety nine or one pound fifty or something in the local um, charity shop, and it didn't sell for that. It sold for a weird amount, thirty six pounds five pence. Because clearly, people are like me. My husband said I'm weird for trying to round stuff up because I used to put things on for like seventeen pounds plus three pound shipping. So I'm thinking it's easy for people to round round up and think, oh, what's well, twenty quid. Um, and he's and I said, look, people are weird like me because he put in the offer of thirty six pounds and five pence, and obviously it made forty quid altogether. Um, and I am of a mind now. Yeah, maybe I could have held up for forty, but I'm of a mind. Even you know, I'm not holding out for an extra five or whatever. I am trying to get things turning over. So yeah, happy with that, and it sold pretty quickly. Again, you know, it's I already said this. It's filofaxes. It's the time of year. And tapestry kits, everything for me, it's this time of year. I think I'm just gonna have to screw my nuts away all year. There you go. Um, and cross stitch tapestry kit, VA Museum Design, Carnations England, new, unused. Um, I think I paid three pounds for this. Um, has been around for a while actually, which is didn't sell for 40. I think I took an offer of something like 32. What should look out with the file of axes? Or do what? Or do any sell? Yeah, they definitely sell, Pound Girl. Um, look out for, oh, I'll just close that, but there's, on the Filofax, there'll be an F on the spine. Also, when you open it up, it'll say Filofax inside. Um, the leather ones are optimum, but to be honest, if you can get them for a pound or two, I'd pick up any Filofax, because you're going to make money on it. Um, the Carla's a bit of a Filofax queen. That's who, basically, I got that tip from back in the day. Um, yeah, so happy with that. Uh, what did I say? Oh, yeah, no, it went for about 32, and I sold another one that day for the same. Um, yeah, easy wheezy. Oh, yeah, actually paid. What? A box full? Oh, pound girl, though. Check if they're actually Filofax, though, because they might just be crap ones. A leather one. Ooh. Oh, uh, yeah, Bowden British Tweed by Moon, Czech Tartan lined wool skirt browns rust duco 12 l this sold in a few days really happy um did it sell for 35 i think it did i actually paid i think 7.99 in oxfam for this because i thought ooh, i'm sure i've heard somebody talk i mean i used to do bowden parties so i know but so, not all not all bowden sells we all i think we all know that um but the fact that it was like tweedy um and bowden in gorgeous condition there we go british tweed by moon had so many good things going for it. I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll pay seven ninety nine, and it sold. Yeah, within a few days, thirty five plus shipping. Happy as Larry. Oh, oh, Carla, what we got? What we got here? Oh, another Pimpernel placemat sale. <laughs> I know you've seen this off of Insta. Vintage Pimpernel six placemats, English fox hunting scenes, hounds, horses, tally ho. Um, Interestingly, about, I mean, uh, actually, oh yes, literally, this sold within an hour, £35 per shipping, but even, oh, what's that colour? You all right? <laughs> um, you're not having any problems selling your placemats, are you, Carla? Interestingly, though, 
I put this on, it's sold within an hour. I have almost the same set. It's the Hound's Hunting Jobs, but these ones are kind of square and the, one, the other ones are more rectangular and they haven't sold. I did have a low offer, but I did decide to keep hold of them. Um, so it's that thing, like these sold within an hour and I'm like, you know I've got more on, don't you? Why haven't you bought those? Um, maybe it was because it was new listing. It shoved it up the um, doodars. Shell Shell Pimpernel, <laughs> pick them up or you will smell. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Indy. <laughs> um, yeah, it's another thing, you know, me and placemats. I don't, I'm sure I got it from you, Carla. I'm sure it's another thing, placemats and filofaxes that I probably got from you and then just ran away with it and just every time I see them, I buy them. But, however, I wouldn't say, um, I'll see, see you later, DBG. Um, I wouldn't say, uh, with the clover leaf, I, I flipping don't like those clover leaves, can't, well, I can get rid of them for love nor money, but not much money. That's all I'm going to say about that. Right, what else have we got? Oh, yeah. Pick this up. I think it was Halloween I picked this up. Hadn't, didn't know this brand, Windsor London, but it was fluffy, fluffy to buggery it was. And I thought, oh, it's got to be something good in there. And of course, yeah, it was 100% um, cashmere. So Windsor London, 100% pure cashmere, blue long line, maxi oversized cardigan, UK 12 to 14. Um, also, shockingly bad photo. It was kind of later in the day on Halloween. I was just trying to get this done before all the shenanigans started. Um, am I just in Cloverleaf? <laughs> yes, Lex, I am. Um, what are you going to do about it? Uh, yeah, so this brand, I thought, oh, so I was thinking, well, it's long line as well. So that's got it going for it. So maybe, I mean, 100% cashmere, definitely 35. But I thought, well, I'll just check the brand. Um, and I like to go on and have a look at their website. Oh, hello, Windsor London. This is this is a bit tasty. Um, maybe I'll put it on for a bit more. So it didn't sell for 50. I put it on for 50 best offer. But I'll tell you what, that was only on Halloween. And I got an offer last night of 40 plus shipping. And I just thought, I paid 4.50 or 5 or something for this. Um, did I take a pic wearing my clown mask? There is, there is a picture in my clown mask on... Um, on Insta and actually we've got a Halloween party tomorrow but I think I might have to do like um, zombie schoolgirl or something blood and stuff because if I wear that clown mask I won't be able to drink drinks I've only just discovered realized uh, so obviously that's not gonna work so I might not be able to wear that tomorrow um, yeah so I accepted the offer this morning of 40 and she's paid it's going off because I'm like well why not you know that's, that's a decent profit if I could just pop down to the charity shop and find it stocked full of fox hunting, Pimpernel place mats and Windsor London uh, cardies, all good. Lex has got no boys. Oh, I think I've missed some chit chat there. Um, yeah, so really happy with that. And actually, this is going to, sorry, I'll wrap this up in about two more two more uh, sales. Um, this would fit in, well, a lot of these things fit in nicely with... Um, yeah, right, Andrea, yeah, too right. Um, yeah, I thought it would be quite good as well because I really feel the cold and I thought that clown mask was quite warm, actually. I thought that would be quite handy because there's bound to be people spilling out into the garden. Um, but actually, drink would also keep me warm, wouldn't it? So I need to be able to drink. Um, yeah, so I, I, was, I was kind of wondering if I should... Um, kind of challenge myself just to pick up locally and see how well I can do with that so that, because I know that charging all around the country does kind of wear me out a little bit as well um and this f would fit in with that so let's see how that goes so what I got what I got ah jelly cat special edition Isla bashful bunny rabbit rare soft toy plush uh there's the number seven inch didn't sell for 40 actually took an offer of 35 yesterday plus shipping um those kind of biscuity coloured bashful bunnies, oh God, I, I do pick them up, but they only sell for about a tenner for me. Um, I know the different, uh, who had, it was Cora and Helen had a great sale as one of these, a mint coloured one. Um, but I've had this Isla, I think I showed it on a haul on Insta, and Joe Stutter. Um, how far do I go to pick up? Oh, uh, well, that's the thing. I was like trotting all over the country, going to different towns, sourcing, because I felt I kind of should. Um, but I realised it's kind of knackering me out quite a lot. So I'm not going far at the moment. 
I'm literally um, like 20 minutes away and then occasionally I'm going to go to the special place. That's a half an hour drive. Um, but there's other places, uh, but that's quite a nice drive. Um, otherwise, I, there's one near school that I go to and there's three that I can walk to where my post office is. And, you know, I'm quite like just popping around the house. It's quite pleasant. Um, yeah, anyway, this jelly cat, yeah, thanks to Joe Stutter who said, put because uh, I would probably have to put it on like a normal bashful, like for a tenner or something. And he said, I had one of these that sold really well, so put it up high. Um, it has taken quite a while to sell, to be fair. Um, two hours, oh, no, pound girl. <laughs> but then the stuff you're getting is um, <laughs> indie. You can't get a special place. It's only for special people. <laughs> Sorry, you are special, but um, I can't give you away that secret, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, actually, Chris knows where the special place is. You can try torturing him um, for that information. Chris goes to the same jumbly shop as me. Ah, uh, um, where am I? Jelly cat. Yeah, so it took quite a while. I do still pick up the odd jelly cat, but, yeah, they're not all good sellers, but that one was. Oh, yeah, this one. So you'll have seen this on, it was, in, oh no, it was the uh, did a haul the other day, totally hijacked by my daughters. Um, Desigual hoodie, silver metallic, bright designs, weekend, relaxed, laid back, UK 14. Um, put this on and it sold within a couple of hours, I think. Again, gone to the US, £30 plus shipping. I paid about uh, around a fiver for this, 4 55 50 something like that. Um, and uh, I can't, when it sold so quickly, I thought that whole bit, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I seriously, I could just give those girls the bags. Let's just get on with it next time. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Off to the US, and I thought, God, I'm, I just, I'm sure I haven't undersold this. I picked it up. Um, <laughs> some wicker, some pimpernel placements, and some cashmere. Well, it's tempting, Indy. Um, uh, yeah, I picked this up because the lovely Heather Treasure Pirate rates Desigual and she picked up a Desigual top in Hitchin when we were there and in fact she was sporting it on one of her videos after that. So I was like, Desigual, I've never found that or maybe I've just not known about it. So I just grabbed it for a punt, sold really quickly and I looked on, obviously I looked at solds. Some of them really hadn't gone that high. There was one that went higher but it had a matching vest thing. Um, and then the ones that were just hoodies or whatever, they've gone for like fourteen ninety nine. I was like, oh, well, I'm not letting it go for that because if Heather rates it, it's decent. Um, but yeah, 30 quid, really quick sell. Uh, Carla, I knew you sold the nasty x decks. What else has gone? Oh, I've missed out. I've missed some chat here because I'm uh, trying to tell you about my sales. Yeah, Desigual, so I definitely, the thing is, it was just in with the jumpers where I look, you know, I'm snouting around for cashmere, so um, that was a lucky find for me because Heather found a top and I pretty much don't even look at the tops now unless something jumps out at me as I'm walking past. Uh, I just, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that, I mean, I'm probably missing out, but, oh, God, you know, you've got to, I don't know, you've just got to be able to manage getting through a shop as well, haven't you? And I can't be going through absolutely everything anymore because... It's boring. <laughs> um, but there you go. That is that. Oh, let's just switch a ruler this around. Right. Um, whoa. It's just... Whoa. There we go. Um, Lex VHS tapes. Oh, I haven't been able to sell those for a long time. Oh, do you mean wrapped? Um, wrapped VHS. Carly, you've had some desigual. Yeah, who had Karen... Karen, if you're watching this, Karen Barnes, who's on Holly Bob's, um, she was picked up a Desigual at the car, uh, no, Jumble Sale. Picked up some good brands there. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm missing here. Um, yeah, so that'll be that. Eight minutes past one, that wasn't too horrific. Thanks, Cindy. Yeah. Let's all get on with our day. I'm going to walk with my big blue Ikea bag down to the post office and see if I can snuffle around and find some more lovely bits and bobs. Right, have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.